Thank you for watching Atlanta & Company. I'm Christine Pilara. Great to be with you this morning. Finding a lawyer to represent you in a personal injury or workman's compensation case can be difficult, but definitely won't be the case when you call the professionals at the Griffin Law Firm. They help good people get great results. Here to tell us more is founder Richard Griffin. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here, and tell us about your firm and your background. Well, my firm does personal injury, workers' compensation, and social security disability. We have an office downtown in Atlanta, and we have an office in Snellville, Georgia, as well. Uh, and we do have uh, intake coordinators that we can send directly to our potential clients so that they don't have to make a drive if they can't, if they're injured and can't drive or their car sure. is out of commission. Well, you just touched upon some of your specialties, but in case somebody's not familiar with the terms, workers' comp, go a little bit into more detail about what sure. those specialties are. Well, personal injury is one of those, uh, any kind of injury that occurs due to someone else's negligence. If you get hurt and there's no one at fault, then you don't get to pursue a personal injury case. Examples would be car accidents are, sure. are very common, truck accidents, motorcycle accidents, slip and fall scenarios where someone's in a store and there's a defect, a, you know, or a, a slippery surface. Um, those are the main things. But we also do uh, dog bite cases, for example, oh, where yeah. uh, there's a dog that has a propensity to attack or one that's not leashed or fenced properly. And some very, very serious injuries can occur with dog bites. I love dogs, but you yeah. know, they can be very dangerous. Absolutely. And tell us about some of the cases that you've handled and some of those outcomes. Well, uh, you know, we have handled a lot of cases and we've gotten million dollar verdicts before. Uh, but some of the ones that thank you. Some of the ones that mean the most are ones that um, perhaps other attorneys have even passed on. Uh, there's one in particular I, I'm thinking of, and uh, we were able to get three hundred fifty thousand wow. uh, dollars, and five other attorneys had actually passed on that case. Now there aren't very many attorneys in Atlanta, at least injury attorneys, that would pass on any case that's worth <laughs> three hundred fifty thousand. Right. Uh, so there were some problems. There was um, the fact pattern was someone changed lanes to avoid debris on the highway. And our client veered off and went off the highway, but there was no contact between the vehicles. So the adjuster said, well, you know, we don't think we're 100% at fault. Uh, the property damage was only $1,200. Adjusters often try to argue if there's not a lot of property damage, you couldn't be hurt. Well, there's some studies that were, have been done, some in, uh, by the Department of Motor Vehicles in Florida, that show that there were 500,000, I mean, there were 500 deaths that occurred at a low speed impact of less than 10 miles an hour over the course of uh, each year over the course of about four or five years. So, wow. you know, that's not a good argument either, but it's one that adjusters will make. Uh, another one was that they had had a lot of previous claims. And one of the things that we were able to do is point out that that makes a, uh, someone who is injured in the past is, it doesn't take as much for them to be injured. Sure. So uh, it's called an eggshell plaintiff. And so we put all that together with jury verdict research and we were able to negotiate the uh, largest uh, verdict in, or settlement in Warren Robbins uh, of 350000 for that. So, wow, that's incredible. Uh, Thanks to you guys digging a little bit deeper and looking more in-depth at the case rather than just writing it off. Right. And you also have handled a workers' comp cases, so tell us more about that's that. That's right. Well, workers' comp is one of those scenarios where someone gets hurt on the job, they're doing their job duties, you don't have to prove negligence, you just have to prove that you were on the job doing your job duties, not doing something personal. Uh, an example would be a roofer, for example, that falls off a roof. If there wasn't workers' comp, they wouldn't have a personal injury claim. But because of workers' comp, they can get their medical expenses paid, they can get their lost wages paid in weekly benefits, and they can get uh, their impairment benefits if they have a permanent impairment. Uh, without an attorney, a lot of people really struggle because they don't know the rules. Right. And adjusters right. oftentimes will, they'll become the goalie. They'll say, you know, or the gatekeeper, right. we're not going to pay you those weekly benefits even if they really should. Right. Or we're not going to authorize that expensive test or that surgery that you really, really need. You know, we go to bat for the injured worker because without us or someone like me, uh, they really are at the mercy of the adjuster. And what about social security disability? Tell us more about well, that. Well, social security disability, it doesn't have to involve an accident. It can be an illness, but it's someone who has a medical condition, a mental condition, an injury, an illness, a disease that makes it where they're not going to be able to work. And typically you have to be projected to not be able to work for over a year. Now, for people that pay into the system that would be eligible for social security, dis uh, social security retirement benefits, it is a way that the law allows for those people who can't work and need help to get Medicare for the medical treatment they need and to get 
early the retirement benefits that they'd be entitled to later in life early because of that disability. Got it. And Rich, you know you have a lot of satisfied customers. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you hear from them. And we have two that we're going to hear from right now. So here is one customer. I thought it was like a breath of fresh air. It's like somebody cut the light on. I was living in a world of pain, confusion, a lot of fear. I didn't know what was going to come the next day. I was being denied my medical care, uh, a good bit of my benefits. I was being denied a lot of things before I knew what was due me. And the Griffin firm brought this, all of this to light. They reached out and got hold of me and pulled me up out of this mud. That's where I could dust myself off. Fantastic. And you actually have another customer who wants to share his story as well. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know, I thought that I, it was over. I thought that I didn't have a chance because of what these people were telling me. But the Griffin Law Firm knows the law. They know and they tell you what to expect. And that's the, that's the good thing, that's the great thing about this is they, these, they, these are professional people and they understand that the quote-unquote little man doesn't always have to end up on the bottom. He can end up on top. And what would you say is the reason why you are different? Because there are a lot of people listening that might think, oh, I see that billboard or I hear that commercial, but why is the Griffin Law Firm different? And how, how do you differentiate yourself? Well, one of the things, our slogan is good people, great results. And I really have tried to assemble uh, attorneys and paralegals and case managers that have a, an attitude where they really want to help other people. Uh, you know, people who are going to offer the best, best possible customer service. Uh, and then the good results comes in. I mean, every case isn't worth a million dollars, but every case deserves to be handled aggressively, properly, and to the fullest extent of the law where you can get the recovery that you need. One of the things that I recommend is that you go to my website because you can look at other written and video client testimonials. You can look at the awards that we've received from the legal community, and you can look at the verdicts and settlements that we've received. And those three ways are really the way I would evaluate any lawyer that I was considering hiring. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And once again, you have two locations. Make sure everyone knows where they That's are. That's right. Uh, we're in Atlanta, and we're also in Snellville. So, and we also are, av are available to send someone directly to you. Uh, in case you can't come in, for your convenience, we'll, after we talk to you on the phone, we'll be glad to send an intake person directly to you. Thank you so much. And again, if you would like to learn more about the Griffin Law Firm, give them a call at 877-PAIN-LAW. That's 877-724-6529. Or log on to their website, just like the phone number. It's 877-PAIN-LAW.com. And this segment is paid for by the Griffin Law Firm. Hey, don't go anywhere. Atlanta & Company will be right back after this short break. Stick around.